Hello, everybody. I've used the word revelations in a few things I've been writing or, or to people that I know about something that happened yesterday, something that has happened at different times. And that's when something seems to be revealed. Something seems to be shown to you that you haven't seen before. And it's, it's like a revelation. I know in the Bible and probably other scripture type books, you know, there's something to do with God or spirit or something deep. And for me, it was linked into the time translator. Let me put that on. And th this is the time translator. And there are nine cycles of time. And one thing that you do in the infinite matrix is you program or build uh, your architecture, your language architecture on top of this device. And so for each one of the wheels, you can choose one word to be the primary word that you're using to come off of the time cycle to start to program your mind. And so there are four different interfaces and there's the inner you, the outer you, the inner group and the outer group or the choice wheel, the flow wheel, the synergy wheel and the harmony wheel. So the flow wheel is outside of you and it's the main reference point for everything. And so at the purple outer, outer wheel, we have this word. So this, this is the flow wheel, or an older version of the flow wheel. And each one of these, these wheels or lenses goes on top of one of the, the uh, wheels of the time translator, just in different order. So you've got your purple, your blue, aquamarine, green, yellow, pink, orange, red and magenta right so they fit on the purple blue aquamarine green yellow pink orange red and magenta there's one or two words on this map and this map is nine cycles all at once not concentric circles but each of them has their own sort of position so what we're doing is we're taking this map and then we're giving them one or two words for each one of these and we're uh, creating a map that then you can place values on in order to create a value system connected into this job system so this is another map of the same thing where you can look at 2.1 fields is at the lifetime or the purple wheel resources is at the yearly or the blue wheel job is at the uh, lunar month or aquamarine activities is at the daily or the green wheel products is at the yellow or the seasonal wheel relationships is at the hour or the pink wheel paths is at the minute or the orange wheel strategies is at the present moment or the red wheel and agreements is at the center and the magneta wheel conversations is in the center point so what we've done is we've assigned here one specific word for each time cycle to be the main reference point in the database or your mind or in the system to start to organize now all of these words are i call them structure words like your relationships encompasses a lot of different people and all the relationships in your life, the products are all the different products of the business. Your activities is all the work that's being done. Uh, your job is all the information related to your job, resources is everything in the business that you need to run the business. The fields are all the different spaces and inner spaces that exist. Agreements are all of the different agreements that are taking place all the time. 
the paths are all the different paths you're walking down, either mentally or physically. Strategies are all the different ways that you're trying to get what you want in your business. Conversations, all the different conversations you're having. So these are very large, kind of dull, boring structure words that organize all the rest of the information in the business. Now, I won't go around. There's another eight words that are on the outside. I won't go into that right now. So the revelation that happened yesterday morning was looking at this, uh, the way there's two words, like abundance and resources, and direction and agreements, bonds and relationships, gifts and products, mission and jobs, field, the word became potential, uh, activities, the other word was reactions, paths, the other word was blocks, strategies, the other word was flow, and conversations, the other word was connection. And I always think this, this was to do with the inside of the system and the outside of the system, and that was the polarity I was using to distinguish why these two words because I started with a single word and, and what I found with this whole idea is that at some point other words would come in and they would have to go somewhere. They'd have to be in a specific place and you'd see the connection between them. And so when you place those words on the time translator, what happened is, is you would have one word at the bottom of the cycle and another word at the top. So one word would be used for half the cycle and another word would be used for the one half, the other half. So in the lunar cycle, you'd have job for one and then mission for the other. At the yearly, you'd have resource for one and then abundance for the other. And then daily, you have actions and reactions, product and gift. And so at different parts of your cycle, you're focusing on different pieces of the puzzle. And this is a different way of looking at it. And it's like a revelation in terms of seeing something in the mechanism you didn't see before that changes the very nature of how you see everything. It may not be true but it's uh, true for you in the moment. And I think when you're working with conceptual thinking systems, you're moving concepts about, you're bringing models in, you're, you're trying to create a whole system that works for you and then program it with information that again, works for you. And the relationship between the time translator and the flow wheel and any of the other wheels is a very important piece of the inflow matrix for how you build it. And so understanding that you can take these time cycles and program them with words, program them with values is one of the most significant, I think, skills uh, that you learn uh, as you continue with this course in designing your ideal job. So why, why is this important? Businesses these days are getting so complicated and most people are overwhelmed with information and you may think, wow. Why am I learning something new? And for the rest of your life, most people are going to be doing business in some way. And the language structure you have in your mind to understand a whole system is something that gives you an edge over other people who don't. And so what the time translator is doing is it's beginning to teach you to see through different multiple time perspectives. Because if you're looking at a CEO, they're generally looking two to five years down the road. And the reason they're at the top is they're looking at the whole system and they are guiding it towards the larger long-term goals. And at the same time, they're able to chunk down, scope down to the different pieces of the business and see what is working or what isn't working and to listen to all the other people in the business and make the changes necessary for that large ship or system to go forward. So the CEOs and the financial uh, CFOs uh, who might be looking at the yearly uh, use of the resources, the, this second wheel here, they see longer term and they understand the relationship of all the parts to the whole. 
And as you go down in the, in the business, depending upon who you are, you only get access to certain amounts of information. You're only looking at one little part of the business, but your value certainly increases when you can understand how the whole business works as a whole system. And so to have that system already in your mind and to have it already programmed towards what your ideal is and what you're aiming at is a, an edge, which I think in the long run will help all people because the words that are used like fields and resources, job, activities, products, relationships, paths, strategies, and agreements. These words you will use the rest of your life. You will always be making agreements with people. You will always be using resources. You will always be doing activities. And these are, again, are just very structural words that then can be used to help you organize all the different pieces of the puzzle that you're working with uh, underneath these different word categories. Most people don't want to focus too much on the mind, but when you give the mind the right parameters and you give the mind numbers and forms to work with, the mind likes that. The mind needs a structure and the mind is always searching to understand and to figure things out. But if you give the, the mind a structure that makes sense, that then can be custom designed to any sort of business context, it's a very good idea. It takes small steps, one step at a time. One of the main ideas is to be able to work from your laptop anywhere, anywhere in the world, teaching this work. So as you do it for yourself and as it works for yourself, then you can teach it to others. There are either clients, students, facilitators, teachers, administrators, or originators in the School of Conscious Communication. I'm an originator in this course, Design Your Ideal Job, is the beginning of me sharing this work with the world. Now, each one of these relationships either is potential, probationary, active, inactive, dying, or dead. And those are the six statuses that you can have with the relationship. And so when you combine these guys, you have 36 different possibilities of what is possible for your connection into the school of communication. <laughs>